everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kati and today I have finally the April spending results for you. First I want to thank you for all the comments that I got in my March spending results video. And actually due to those comments I want to especially thank Inless Inlet and I will link her channel below. It was something she commented that gave me the idea of how I want to change my spending budget. Previously I had my spending budget always for one month and then if I wanted to buy something more expensive I went to my savings account and that way I could always spend over my spending budget and my spending didn't have like clear limits. So I came up with a budget that covers all my spending and I can't go over. I'm not allowed to go to my savings account if I get an idea to buy something expensive. So this budget should cover all my purchases in a year and I decided to go with two euros per day. And here I counted what I had spent in the previous years. Last year was bad, so you can see that I spent over four euros per day. So I really wanted to cut down those expenses. So how this two euros works in practice. I have decided that my budget in a month will be 20 euros and now April had 30 days. So my budget was 60 euros of which 20 euros is for spending in April and 40 euros will go to savings. That means I have calculated here. So the biggest purchase for me in a year is my Hobonichi. I don't want to look what I spent last year, but it was too much because I made two orders, but usually my one order is about 200 euros. So I calculated what I maybe want to buy still this year. And then I thought that if I have the opportunity, I will give myself some extra on my birthday. So in March and then some extra for Christmas. And first I thought it would be like for December, but then in retrospect, I think it will be more wisely to give myself in November so that I can spend the money on Black Friday. And here I gave myself a sum I can't go no matter what go over this so thousand euros a year because I think that's that might, doesn't make any sense. So as the year has 365 days so it's over 700 that I get from those two euros a day budget and then if I give myself some extra for these holidays so then it's closer to the 1000 euros and that is how I will now go with my budget. As you can see if you have watched my videos before I changed my spending tracker from my A6 Hobonichi to this mini rings. So I track here my spending and I'm still using my color coding system. Green for no spent days, blue for anything necessary like groceries, pink is for my stationary purchases and then yellow is everything else. And the pink one is what I'm tracking here. So that's the one I have the budget for. And in April my budget was 20 euros plus 4 euros and 74 cents that I had saved for my last month's budget. And my goal was to have 15 no spend days. So let's see what I bought. I started with some groceries and then on the third we were visiting, it has become my favorite store. <laughs> it's always when we are visiting some relatives, there is a nice little stationary paper store in that city. And what I bought last time, it was like a bit of not so necessary, but I want to like support that shop. So I bought this folder. This is the traveler's notebook 
folder in the regular size and then I bought this writing board so these are the 2020 versions you can see the year in these there is 2020 and there is 2020 but these were on sale so they were two euros so I just I wanted to have them I don't really need them but I thought they were nice to have and as I think I have said before although 2020 wasn't such a nice year for me it was important because I started my channel last year so for me I remember that from 2020 and not so much the other thing and then I also although I had said before I'm not going to buy these anymore I really wanted to try this clean color dot metallic pen and it's the silver one now I have these five colors and yet again I'm going to say I don't need any more but time will tell if I will buy these more and it's like it's bad because they are selling these in the store so it's easy for me to grab one new color every time we are visiting there and the pen was 360 so they were 760 in total then some food no spends and then oh yes I didn't remember I bought those on the same day so then we went shopping for our weekly groceries and there was a new store in our mall which I didn't have seen before and of course we had to go see what they had I found this stencil and I'm not so happy that I bought this but yet again it was only 64 cents so it's not bad but actually what was the problem with this is that it's pretty thick compared to the Hobonichi stencils which I love so it's actually not so easy to draw these I just haven't used it very much so I don't know it was this I can't say this Sustrenegre so it's a Danish store and they had also pens and washi tape and everything nice so I was happy that I survived out of that store with just this one stencil <laughs> and that I also should have leave there and then yes also what I bought this is heavy <laughs> so I bought a pack of copy paper so this presentation paper which is pretty smooth and nice it's 100 gsm 500 sheets a4 and apparently made in sweden that is what i use now for making my inserts in my personal planner so that is why i bought it and i chose the 100 gsm so that i can write and not worry about bleed through or indentations or any, anything so i wanted to have a good paper that i can write with any pen that i want and it has worked very nicely the paper pack was almost 12 euros but that will last me a very long time because it's 500 sheets and i can fit three personal size inserts on one sheet so that will make me 1500 inserts so that will last me a while and then yes i bought the i am scribe course from ali brown but actually i'm not calculating that to my stationery and journaling expenses somebody would maybe but i put that i have a separate budget for learning and courses so i put that there then no spends food cosmetics and here there were no more spending on anything planner or journaling related there was a reason for it because i had already spent 20 euros and 19 cents so a little over the 20 euros but because i had the four euros from the last month so i'm still on the plus side four euros and 55 cents and i made my 15 
no spent days. And here then I have in savings now the 40 euros that I gave myself for April. So in total I have now 44 euros and 55 cents in my spending budget that will move to the next month. I'm happy with these results that I am still on the plus side and that I have now the 40 euros in my savings because fall is coming quickly and I need the money for my Hobonichi order at least, probably for something else also. But I'm very happy with this new budget now because it makes me think even more about what I'm buying because I want to have that money for especially for my Hobonichi purchases so I can't spend on like random things I can always think about well what I want more if I want a few more washi tapes or if I want really want to have the opportunity to buy from Hobonichi in the fall when they make their new release I can always say I want to buy from the Hobonichi. At least now I'm that opinion. So I'm so happy about this new system and I'm so grateful for all of your comments that made this happen so I could like start thinking about this in a new way. I'm very optimistic about this working <laughs> but we will see in the future months. And this insert if you are wondering I have made myself for this mini planner. I like this. This works very nicely so every evening I just write here where I have spent the money so I keep myself accountable to this tracking. If you have any questions or comments about my new budget or anything I bought or anything else please leave a comment down below and if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and you can also follow me on Instagram at Katiplans. I will link my profile there down below and as always thank you so much for watching have a nice day I'll see you soon bye bye